Hello, my name is Reverend Lyle Gwynn Garrity, Founder and Creative Director of A Sanctified Art, and welcome to my home office slash studio in Black Mountain, North Carolina. I'd love to share just a little bit more with you about the making of some of the art that I created for our Lenten series again and again. So when we started working on this series, I really wanted to challenge myself to work within a very muted, limited color palette and mostly work in black and white with some elements of metallic gold. And another thing that I'm exploring is mixing and layering lots of different media. I'm primarily an acrylic painter, and so this piece behind me is actually the piece that I created for Easter morning, um, inspired by the Mark version of the Easter story. And so it's an imagined landscape of the sky blooming open on resurrection morning when there's still a lot of uncertainty um, about what resurrection actually means. And so this is an acrylic painting. I am engage a lot of fluidity and water when I'm painting that loosens me up and it helps me not be so controlling and manipulative. So you see some of those drips as they drip down as I was painting this piece. Um, I'm very inspired by the Impressionists and post-Impressionists, so I'm always interested in the marks that only my hand can make as a painter and having that be really dappled. Um, and the horizon line has a 14 karat gold leaf. I love working with gold leaf in the way that it can add just a whole new layer to a painting. So I also created another canvas painting. Here's a small glimpse. Um, this is an abstract piece inspired by the famous John 316, For God So Loved the World. And it also includes some fluid acrylics and gold leaf. But one of the things I'm really exploring right now is how to intertwine and layer some of the paintings that I am painting from hand with a fairly new medium for me, which is digital drawing. And so digital drawing is done through a stylus and an iPad in a program that I use called Procreate. And what I did with my images that are all featuring more like figures and drawings is I actually got this painting and this painting professionally scanned and then I took crops and different composites from those paintings and blurred them and blended them into the background of some of my digital drawings. So digital drawing the benefit of that is that it really allows me to still draw by hand, but I can really refine an image and get really into detail. So this is uh, the piece of Jesus's baptism. And if you'll notice, so I drew this by hand with the stylus and I had a graphite texture because it's really important to me that it still feels like I'm drawing with a pencil. Um, and I can still get lots and lots of those kind of textured gestural marks in my mark making. And then the background is actually a composite of images from my paintings. So you might see that in this piece, which is as a painting oriented this way, I loved that when I turned it, this part of the painting sort of mimics a shell with water pouring out of it. And I just immediately saw that and I thought, oh my gosh, that would be perfect for Jesus's baptism to have this sort of mimic of a shell with water dripping down and the glory of the heavens opening up and God saying, I delight in you. So I'm thinking it's kind of getting a bit meta, but I'm just really curious about like when I'm creating work with my hands and the grittiness of tangible materials, and then I'm able to take pieces and layers of that and translate them onto a screen and use the technology of digital media to then do a lot more refinement work, but still create new work from hand. So thanks so much. And um, I hope you enjoyed some of those pieces. We are so deeply honored that you are journeying with us peace and grace again and again.